just crime. Yes. Say it. Don't spray it. Hey everybody, this is Derivative, uh, doing my first uh, video review. Um, we're going to be reviewing Toy World's MO8 Wave Break. And I haven't seen anybody do a review on them yet, I figured I'd get out there and get some people some information, because this guy has some problems. Um, there's a box, <clears throat> nice box, uh, good artwork uh, of the arc and everything, sea spray there looking a lot more slender than he would in the toy. Tour World on the side. All that crying Pac-Man stuff on the back. Japanese stuff. Jet engines. Now the box is nice. Open it up. You got your standard card. Comes wrapped in plastic already. Uh, tech specs on the back, of course. You get a sticker for some reason. No idea why. I would never use a sticker. I don't know what I'd put it on, but whatever. And you got the book. Standard book. He's not hard to transform. It's pretty much exactly like any sea spray you've ever seen. Uh, heavy styrofoam insides. Comes packaged like that. Really nice packaging though. Come on, focus, fucker. Get him out of there. <clears throat> Throw the box away. Bring down the camera. And there he is. Sea spray. Or, uh... Yeah, yeah, that. I'm not gonna do that very long, because, uh... That's the most annoying voice in Transformers history. Anyway, here's the vehicle. Vehicle mode. Thing spinny on the back. Spinny, spin, spin. Uh, you can pop these little bits out here. They're a pain in the ass to get to. Such a pain in the ass to get to. Flip them up. Tie it back together, put that down. You got the little... You got the little guns from, uh... From that one episode. <laughs> And you just put it down, pick it up. That's pretty much that for that. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. My camera is an asshole. So anyway, transformation. Pull out the legs. Pull this down here. I really wish I could get my camera focused. Doesn't want to focus because it's a prick. Woo, 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 woo! There goes my camera all over the place. Break apart the legs, bend them up. You take this whole assembly here. It's on a double hinge. You can see that. There we go. I got to focus. All right. Bring that down like that. And then here's one major problem. These flaps here you gotta fold into the belly there is some clearance issues so when you go like that this doesn't want to focus again anyway hear that click that's not a click from it locking in that's a click from it going over this bump here but it doesn't seem like it's gonna break or anything but just be careful of it then you close this up if you look right in there, that'll tab in there. And there he is standing up. You separate the arms here. Open up this little thing here. Bring out his head. Pull this all up. Pop the head down. And that's pretty much it. And there is Sea Spray. I like the look. He... He does look like the cartoon. The cartoon always depicted him as a little chunky and overweight, a little weird looking. But whatever, you know, it looks good. The only problem I have with him, and 
this, well, two problems, actually. The first one is the face. Um, in test shots, Toy World showed the yellow mouth plate and the gunmetal gray um, area around the eyes. Now, the retail one, when we get it, it has an all-white face. Mouth plate and the eyes are white. That's some incredible light piping, though, for the eyes. I don't know if I can really... Nah, I can't get my lights over there. Anyway. Really nice light piping, though. But, um, the face is something you can fix. I mean, you, you can strip that away, get the yellow back, but... That's not the main problem with the figure. Um, the main problem is when we get into articulation, which we'll do right, right now. You got universals here. They go up. They go back. They go out of focus. They go out of focus. Don't know why it's going out of focus. You got ankle pivot. There and there, which is great. The knees ugh, do get you about 90 degrees, but they're really fucking tight. Everything on this guy is really fucking tight, just like Cosmos. Except Cosmos actually has a bias Um, yeah, but getting back to that. You do have some waist articulation. It goes back and forth mm, like 10, 15 degrees, maybe. Um, now, here's the weird thing. You have wrist articulation. You have this great double-jointed elbow. You have... You know, swivel here goes all the way around, goes all the way out, and sometimes up bring it down for some reason. When you rotate it up, you have a butterfly joint that can go way back and also way forward. And that's fucking awesome. The bad thing is there's no bicep swivel. Nothing. And if you have his arms down to the side, you naturally go to pose him thinking there's going to be a bicep swivel there. No. So, be careful. You don't want to break it, because it's on this weird little double hinge up here, which rotates. So, you're not getting the... You're not getting the butterfly joint when his arms are down to his sides. You're only getting it when they're up like that. It does make for a good smacking animation, though. Where's my money? Where can I move my Anyway. But yeah. Head back and forth on a ball joint so you get that wiggly waggly. Give him that dog look. <laughs> anyway. Uh, skirts do go out to the side. And that. Well, that one don't go out. Neither does that. Oh, he does have a butt flap so you can see his butt. And... Looks like the legs are just tabbed in there. Anyway, he does have some weapons, as you'll see right back here. Now these work is... I don't know if it's just something that I'm doing, or if it's something that was intentional. You pop those off, and you pull out the little, the little nozzles here, and they turn into guns. And of course, you know, you can... He can hold them just like any other robot with guns does. But I found if you take them off, the store that you know they store up here for vehicle mode. But there's two other holes right here. If you put them there, and that one right there, they kind of look like little scuba gear oxygen tanks. Which I think is really neat. It's a nice way to store it in robot mode without him having a big blue backpack on his back. So anyway, if you want some size comparisons, 
Here he is with MP Wheeljack. Decent scale, about the size you would expect of a mini bot, an MP mini bot. And here he is with his Wavemate Cosmos. A little bit taller than Cosmos, mainly due to the uh, propeller thing on his shoulder there. But yeah, there he is with that. This guy is a lot better than this guy. I'll probably do a review on this guy too, but I really wanted to get the information out on the lack of bicep swivel. Which really bothers me, because there's so many ways they could have done that. This entire thing is solid fucking plastic. They could have made this upper arm two assemblies without having to skim on plastic or anything. Or they could have loosened this up and made this double joint be two pieces so you can have the bicep swivel right above the elbow. It's ridiculous. This is... is <laughs> That pisses me off to no end, but it is what it is. It's not hateful. It's pretty decent. The build is really good. The paint is great. The detail is great. And you can see all the paint. You got a little bit of paint here on the feet, a little bit of paint on the knees there. You got transparent bits all over here die cast up here and die cast here which is painted though if you flip this out that's kind of lame the inside of this metal part is just bare metal that sucks that's they should have painted that but anyway he does look good on the shelf especially next to cosmos um but yeah, he's definitely not prime. He is not prime at all. <laughs> he's not superior. I would have to say he's adequate. <laughs> he looks like the cartoon. He transforms easily. The transformation is actually pretty fun. And it's, you know, you're not going to be sitting there for 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour transforming him. But the bicep swivel just kills it for me. No bicep swivel just absolutely kills it for me. You know, I do a lot of stop animation stuff on my channel. And it just severely limits the character to me. Or the figure, I should say. But, whatever. It's a decent figure. It's only 50 bucks. It's a really nice figure for that price range. But the lack of bicep swivel is just ridiculous. Um, other than that, I picked mine up from uh, Netclow on eBay. A uh, really good guy. If you're looking for a Chinese seller that'll get you stuff really fast, he's the guy to get it from. Other than that, this has been Is It Prime? And unfortunately, he is not Prime. He is just good enough. For now, you might want to look for, you might want to hold off and look towards uh, X Trans Bots, or I think uh, Fans Toys is also doing one. Although I'm not really digging the Fans Toys ones either, because they made him look too athletic and skinny. He doesn't look like Sea Spray. He doesn't look like Furry Spray. He just looks like a guy who looks like Sea Spray. It looks like Sea Spray after six months at the gym. I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. That's what it is. It isn't prime, that's for sure. Have a good day, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom, and uh... Does anybody have a towel?